huge stories breaking this week, but something that kind of cropped up, not new news, but something I did want to get your take on because we haven't discussed it before, is Andy Ruiz's move to the Canelo camp um, for his training camps in the future, and what, what you make of that move. Okay. Uh, here's how I'm going to view the move, okay? I didn't like his move away from his last trainer, who I have a lot of respect for. And I actually think that his last trainer did his best with Andy. And Andy's been a problem forever, and the best trainer, his ex-trainer, made him heavyweight champion, along with Andy, but his ex-trainer had a lot to do with that. So I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't want to appear like I'm making any positive judgment about leaving the old trainer. Okay, but once he had made, that, that was done. Now he has to find somebody. I think it's probably a good camp for him. I think Canelo's a, a disciplined guy. I think that the training guys know what they're doing. I think they've worked wonders with the fighters. They're working. I think that, that they're, you know, Canelo has a good a good camp. Canelo has a, a lot of people around him that know boxing. So I don't think that's a bad place for Andy Ruiz to be. How much of the... Those are the words of Lou DeBella. And of course, they asked DeBella, you know, um, it was his birthday on the 23rd, so late happy birthday to Lou DeBella. First of all, shouts out to him. And um, they asked him about his new change of trainers with Eddie Reynoso, with the Reynosos, Eddie and Chepo Reynoso, right? And he set the record straight, and I'm glad he did, okay? And uh, I couldn't say it no better than him. I'm just putting my counterpunch to it. He didn't like him leaving his last trainer. He thought that Manny Robles did all that he could do with Andy Ruiz. In fact, he was the reason, or a portion of that reason, for him becoming the unified heavyweight champion of the world, first of his kind from Mexican descent. Okay? I have to agree 100%. I didn't like that change. Now... This is what I want to ask you guys, okay? What could Manny Robles do more than what he already did with Andy Ruiz? In fact, when I finish this video, I'm going to do a poll. And I'm going to wait to post this video just so I can see your reactions from the poll, okay? Because I want to know what could Manny Robles do more than what he done? Wouldn't it Andy Ruiz that blamed himself after his upset loss to Anthony Joshua in the rematch in Saudi Arabia? Wasn't it or wasn't it he that apologized to Manny Robles, both Manny Robles and his father, Andy Ruiz the first? Okay? Wouldn't it him that did that? So what could Manny Robles do different? Could he do anything different? Was that his fault? So no, that was no particular reason or good reason why Andy Ruiz left Manny Robles besides someone had to, had to take the fall for him losing. And I think that's what it is. He had to, Andy had to save face regardless of the excuses that he already made. You know, it appeared uh, with integrity, but obviously it wasn't if you're gonna get rid of your coach. Now, a lot of people might look at that and say, man, you're hating. No, I'm not hating. I've already said this. It's just Lou DiBello confirming it, okay? He's saying the same thing that I did. He just said it in his own New York way, right? Because that wasn't right for him to leave Manny Robles. In fact, was it cool for him to leave Abel Sanchez? Let's not pretend that this is the first time Andy Ruiz has had a trainer. Wouldn't he with Freddie Roach before? And there was a problem with Freddie Roach. There was a problem with Abel Sanchez. There was a problem with Manny Robles. Now he's with Eddie Reynoso. So we have a problem. Look, third, three times a charm right there. First of all, counterpunch. But if he somehow falls out with Eddie Reynoso, we'll know it is not the trainers at all. And he has a huge portion of responsibility for him not doing or performing the way that he should. Okay. Now, it doesn't have anything to do with his skill set or his speed. He has to work on certain things, and it's slothfulness, people. He's slothful. One of the seven deadly sins. He doesn't want to do much than what he wants to do. And whatever he wants to do, that's what's going to be done. That has to stop. 
Okay? Because 283 and some odd pounds is unacceptable. But again, can you blame Manny Robles for that? No. But again, but of course, I will leave the uh, poll on my community and you guys let me know what you think about that. Then I will post this video, okay? I'll give it a, a, a good hour and make that post. And then I will share this video with me and you guys tell me what you think. Of course, that's Luda Bella's opinion. However, he does think it's a good choice to go with Eddie Reynoso. He, I don't know if he's just as good because we don't want to fall into that situation where he starts winning with Eddie Reynoso. Everybody applauds Eddie Reynoso, right? Sure, he should get some credit, but at the end of the day, it wasn't because he left Manny Robles and went to Eddie Reynoso. Maybe Eddie Reynoso was like, hey, um, you're running out of trainers. So if you pull that lazy shit over here, that Mimavo shit over here, this is what's going to happen to you. So you got to get with it. And Canelo, I think he has someone to compete with. Why do you think Andy Ruiz is losing all that weight right now? He's losing all that weight because he wants to, he, he knows I have to be in some type of shape on top of good shape to be ready to compete with one of the best Mexicans, best that they have today, right? So I think that's what he's doing. So I think now he's putting his best foot forward, but again, it wasn't Manny Robles. I feel it was himself. But anyway, um, you guys tell me what you think about Luda Bella's statements. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.